Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 6 of Direwolf20's Forgecraft 2 series. Tema, what kind of new gadgets do you have for us today? Transport ducks. Oh, transport ducks. I want whoosh, something to be whoosh. added to these. I need something I'm, to be added, Tema. I'm loving everything about this already. You know what's missing, Tema? What? Wow, wow, wow. That sound. No, <laughs> I, I like the whoosh the sound. Bites. The whoosh sound that exists is perfect. Well, I mean, when you enter, yeah, the whoosh sound when you're moving, absolutely. But when you, <laughs> when you enter, if you're yeah. standing on top of it, use the Mario sound. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these are cool. Like this is definitely going to be a thing that we're gonna do some stuff with like right now. Like right now. Just debating exactly where. I think right here would be like an ideal place for this. So I want to like test what I'm going to do here, but it should be pretty straightforward. And because this is, uh, again, a decorative aspect of the workshop, I am cheating this. So just a heads up, cheats abound. Cheating happening. Oh. Dire cheat 20. Dire pants? Cheat no. Actually, Soren, do you want to help me test something? Absolutely. Uh, okay, in theory, if I put the transport ducts sort of underwater or in lava, it shouldn't hurt you. Do you want to test that? I'll go put stuff in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all set. Okay, do you have a bucket or something? Mm, there's... yeah. Oh wow, I perfectly guessed that. Let me get some. I want like a slightly underground transport system to get around to every point of the of the workshop. Hey, good job. There's a lava behind uh, to the left of me. Does that sound cool, or is it just me? I I like the idea. I almost want it above us, but yeah, below it could work too. All right, testing. All right, good. <laughs> I did not catch on fire. <laughs> Aw. I and didn't do it. it. Yay. Aw. <laughs> also didn't bring up bubbles for breathing, so. Ah. Jeez. Oh, that works beautifully. OK, good. So it's getting the proper hitbox for yeah. players. Just the hat render, which is different. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Minecraft as the animation is incredibly inflexible. Now, I'm assuming if there was like whatever, I don't remember what they are called, the structured duct facade looking things. I assume you see the other side of it when you're inside the pipe. So it's like a wall to it. Uh, I haven't tested that, probably not. Okay. Mm. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> Welcome to the stream and video of us just going back and forth through pipes. <laughs> yep, that's pretty much going to be this entire episode. So accelerating transport ducts and ranged transport ducts. You covered that in your video, which I did watch, and then promptly forgot what the difference between those <laughs> two was. Um, wow. So, well, yeah. User um, joined your channel. Sorry. Long range do not need to be chunk loaded. Okay. Um, you know, basically, all, if you... So if you've got two players' bases that are a thousand blocks away, you can have those. Okay. Um, so ranged, it doesn't need to be chunk loaded in between. Yeah. Okay. But you do have to have an accelerating duct to sort of link the long range to the regular rest of the system. Okay. But it's not like this makes you go faster kind of deal? Uh, actually, they do. Long range does go like, I think it's twice as fast. Long um, range does. Okay. Yeah. But there's a... Um, uh, a delay in the acceleration in the acceleration duct, so it gotcha. takes a few seconds to get up to that. So if it's if it's less than like I think 60 blocks distance, it's not worth using the long range. But if it's more than that, it definitely is worth using the long range ducts. Gotcha. Does it so, work vertically? Yep. Yes. I have one concern. It's not really much of a concern. Not many people play in F5 mode. If you enter the pipe in third person, you'll always be oriented that way when you exit. But if you enter it first person, it's whatever the pipe was. Like, whatever. Let's see. 
that whatever Sorry? orientation the pipe was when you left. So I'm not like if I ask, ah, if I uh, yeah. go into the east and then I exit the uh, north, I will be fa facing north in first person. But if I go in facing east in third person mode, I will exit facing east because of the way the third person works. I'm not sure if you can rotate that actively or not. Hmm. Um, well, I've actually made some changes, like, you know, okay. since this version was made to the way you exit. Because if you've noticed, when you exit, you, you're placed basically at a random location um, nearby. And that's because you're getting off the invisible minecart. Minecraft shoves you wherever. Um, right. You know, into a safe location that it can, the nearest safe location it can find, which is not. So I've okay. basically overridden that and will. Um, and then as part of that, it will set the orientation to be basically you coming out the pipe automatically. Okay. Oh, this is the greatest thing ever. This is amazing. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Well, I like this. I'm now, I'm going to be using this for our base, and we're going to be using this for the workshop that I was creating here. And This is this is two episodes in a row where I've created the greatest thing ever using something Tem has made. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm not lying. <laughs> I did teleport. No, Last episode, I also made the greatest thing ever, which is this lever. Oh yeah. And I freaked out about that. Isn't that cool? Oh, it's amazing. I was like super proud of that. Did you oh, wait, uh, did you show that on stream, T Love? Uh yeah, I'm showing it right now. Oh, my gosh, this leads to. Oh, this is a. This is so cool. Isn't it great? Are you yeah. kidding me? That is so no. cool, and not to mention you have different places to go. This is amazing. Will this be configurable so only certain people with permissions will use it? Oh my uh, god. I really would rather not, because that's hell of a complicated, okay. but that's I, suppose I, yeah. I suppose I should. I would make that a low priority. <laughs> well, yeah, low priority, but as an option, that would be awesome. User joined your if not, Good job, Timma. Those things are amazing. That is crazy. Yeah. Tell me while you're here, can you give me a reinforced watering can? <laughs> it's okay, it's I'm not just, cheating if Tem is the one who's cheating it. <laughs> I also love that you can pass through people as they're going through the tube. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> and instead of hitting them. Yeah. yeah. It's so cool. All right. Oh, these are awesome. Oh, hey. All right, guys. Log uh, off. Talk to you guys later. Have fun. Bye. Oh, you put a you put a you put a thing in there. That's cool. I'm gonna configure Batanian. Yeah. So we can actually look that. at actually, and stuff. Actually, Tema, is this public? Uh, sorry? Is this public, this version? Uh, no. No, it's not public. Okay. Not yet. No, not yet. Hopefully it shouldn't be that too is, long. That is insane. I was told to, like, check this out, and I was like, what's so different about it? And then someone said, right-click. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. I, just, I started my stream off with the full intention of playing today. <laughs> well, that's what we're yeah, doing, technically. Not, we're just playing at this point. Well, okay. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> we're done with our builds. We're just gonna play for thirty minutes on this. Yeah, this is this is gonna be all play. I'm sorry. This is too fun. <laughs> I missed amazing. the answer to is this public? Uh, it's not. Okay, not yet. It's not public yet. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. I picked that up. Sorry, Ooh, everyone. It might be public by the time this video ah. goes live. That might help. Yeah, that could help. Hopefully. But for those watching um, streams, everything is basically play is hold of the recipes, even the names and so on. Like I totally got like a weird bug, and then time I logged in, and I couldn't reproduce it. I, I it worked, it, it was broken every single time. I tested six different times, and then Tema logged in, and it was not broken anymore. Well, that's because it's like the watering can. When he logs in, he can get it. I'm guessing that's the case. Like I don't know. Mm -hmm. but it, that's it's I... the same logic. <laughs> Am I the only one that's seeing you guys stutter the way you are? You're kind of like stuttering. No, it's there's still a lag on server. Is there? Okay, that's uh, that's it's not yeah. me. Yeah, I think that's yeah, that's server. Lagging. That's not even. Yeah, tech rate's fine. You get the same. I was... Yeah, yeah. It's not. I just see everyone. I see everyone just going up, 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 walking around. Interesting. No, you all look fine to me. Um. Well, it's off and on actually. So that's a good part so of what we're. Your ping is really low or high. Oh, my ping's low? High or low? Hold on, let me well, get out. Well, it's high ping, low in the connection bars. I got bars. you. Yeah. Yeah. It's three. Oh, wow. 399? What? So I'm going to come back so in a high? minute, because I do have a proper build I want to make today, aside from these cool transport ducks. And we will come right back to do some stuff. 
All right, guys, we're back, and I'm making stuff. Let's see, I'm gonna want some of this, and I'm gonna want some of this. Okay, this stuff. I'm gonna some of these things, and some of that, and I don't know, maybe some of those, I don't know, I'm not sure. Let's make, uh, I want a planter. And for this, I'm going to need probably a couple sets of these, so I'm gonna make them now. Um, we do have the configs on the server such that things are wonky in terms of the recipes are not the hard recipe settings. So, oh well, life goes on. Uh, I know I have clay around here somewhere. Sweet. Let's go get this cooked up. Yoink. By the way, Soren, I did upgrade the uh, Ender IO machines. So if you want to smelt with them, they're pretty quick. Okay, cool. The thermal expansion machines are upgraded as well, but not as fast. So that should be the planter that I want. And then we're going to want a harvester. So that's just shears. One, two, I want two harvesters, and I'll tell you guys why in a minute. One, two. Well, maybe not a minute, but soon enough. And then uh, I also want the, um, is it called a hammer? I always forget what the MFR one is called. It is, I should shoot Soren. That's what I should do. Uh, Precision Sledgehammer, that's the name of it. Cool. We're definitely going to want that. Nice. So for now, you guys can all go away. And that should be sufficient. We're going to want some upgrades in a minute. Um, but that's cool. So let's get the planter set up. And I'm going to want this thing. Oh, you're actually one level above. OK, cool. Uh, is that where I want things to be? Probably not. So that looks neat. Um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Eh, not loving this. I might want to move this over one. That looks pretty good. So if we did that, all right, I'm gonna expand this with an upgrade tin or iron. I'm gonna try tin first and then see how it goes. Maybe want iron, but I'm not sure. Iron we're kind of low on, but I'll try it. I'm gonna try iron first, because I think that's probably what I'm gonna want. So the three upgrade, right? So it's gonna be redstone, a gold ingot, and some raw plastic. So if we take a look at this now, we should see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Nice. All right. Um, so I like the looks of this. That should actually be pretty slick. All right, back in a moment, I need some dirt. All right, guys, we are back, and I'm getting ready to set this whole thingy up. So you go here. You go here. And there. Sweet. This is the greatest shovel ever. Super fast. Oh yeah, it's like I click like I I can't I can't even get it to mine only one block. It just mines them all all at once. Right. 
Is it just a shovel or excavator? Just a shovel. Nice. Bring some dirt back with you when you come back, by the way. Have you figured out how you're getting back yet, by the way? That's, yeah, that was the question I was asking my chat. <laughs> it's like, you know, I'm kind of regretting not bringing a book now. Oh well. Ooh, okay, that might be a problem with the ocean. Mm. What's that? Squids everywhere. <laughs> yeah, like, how bad of a problem? Um... Where's the handy count? I see about 60 squids on my screen right now. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. Yeah. Granted, that would probably be all the mobs, but at the same time. Right. <laughs> we need a magnet torch built specifically for squids. Squids can be, uh... Pretty rough on a server sometimes. There's a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, such fast mining. I love it. All right. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys. Next up, we will want harvesters. And these will probably be centered right about here and here. Like so? What did you place that sideways for? Wow, you are weird. There we go. That should be good. Cool. Uh, we're gonna want power to come into this thing. So let's make sure that that happens. And temporarily I just have like a very basic i don't have any kind of power oh boy that's not what i wanted to do gen over here um it's just extremely and extremely basic consume stack off you're there and you're there that should be cool it's just a hardened energy cell that i brought over and that's cool let's see i think i need more hardened energy ducks I'm pretty sure i don't have many of those unless soren stole them for his ae system which i wouldn't put past him Alright, so let's make some of that real quick. Uh, some redstone. Hardened flux duct is what we want. That's just that. Redstone, lead, and glass. Shouldn't be a problem. Invar. And then do we have any invar left here? Probably not. So let's make some. I'll grab some of you and some ferris. We should have in here. Are you guys not doing your job? Oh my goodness. Who broke this? Me and somebody are gonna have words. This is like the exact opposite of what I wanted to see happen. Obsidian, copper, lead. Yeah, the only thing I could be worried about is silver. I'll hold off on silver smelting in there for the time being. I just don't want things mixing unless I want them mixed. get iron to the bottom here so we start getting more iron quickly there we go so I'm gonna need 16 total of this stuff Cause that's what we need for transport ducks, right? Let 
Or is that the one that needs 10 item ducks? Yeah, actually, they need 10, but that's all right. I want some more of this stuff anyway. Induction smelter, ferrous, and iron go. I'll hang on to a little bit of dirt just in case. 10. And I want some hardened glass, which I know I made a bunch of before. Item duct. Perfect. Cool. I actually need a little bit more invar because I want that all to be proper. Hardened flux duct. Go. Nice. All right. So let's figure this out. I'm probably going to also want some java barrels because that's what I always like to have. I don't know if I have any wood in particular here, but that's okay. We can get some in a minute. For now, I'll just use a chest. So what I'll do is actually this. I'll put the chest here. We'll have item duct. I think I want a lead nugget. Pulverized lead, okay. I knew it was lead, I just forgot what kind of lead. So we will do item duct. How you doing finding a base, Soren? Any luck? Soren's been looking for a base for 45 minutes. D details. <laughs> um. I think I found a place, and I think I've figured out how I want to build it. Okay. So I need to get the cords. Um. That's a long way away. Yeah. these fluctuating item ducks that's what i should have done yes you should that would have been smart how, how do you make fluctuating item ducks again i don't think it's too hard actually it's just two redstone so i need let's say a dozen so we'll get 24 redstone that would be cool that will definitely be very cool let's go yeah 24 this we will do Magma Crucible Cook and this guy item duct here. Nice. This should be pretty good. So this way we don't have to run two lines, right? So these guys should be getting power now. Nice. So we're going to set this to shear leaves, yes. Um, but for the time being, I want to put a lever on it. And somehow I have no cobblestone on me. How do you know this base has to be big? Yeah. Yeah. Like, explain big. Um, if you fly above your village and see how big that is, yes. that might be one wing of the entire base. Why so big? Because Atlantis looks cool and big. <laughs> you're, you're correct. I'm not going to lie about that. <laughs> so I need two more iron upgrades. So 
I need six I'm just raw wishing plaster. players could be teleported with those frame things. You have a room where you click a button and you would be teleported down underwater. Yeah, that would be neat. I do kind of want the whole base to move, but like I feel like that would be very bad for the server if that whole base moved. It would be very bad for the server as well as actually connecting, making sure everything is connected. Yeah. I don't. We could do everything connected, but it's probably hinders sometimes. Right. Yeah. So I'm thinking we have moving parts rather than the entire thing. It's so like make a bridge. Wouldn't be that easily enough. Right. All right, cool. We have a basic tree farm up and running. Nice. Yeah, I've got reasons for the things I'm doing, trust me. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll try. Sweet. Do you have any interest in sludge? I can't think of any. Okay, I'll uh, probably just void it then. Okay. All right, guys, we'll be back in a minute. I'm going to get a void pipe, a uh, fluid void pipe, and then we'll be right back. Redstone and black dye. All right, guys, we're back and doing some stuff. So that'll go there. I'm almost got there. Almost back. Almost back? Whose idea wasn't to fly that far out? Mm hmm yours oh yeah and we will lock this and we will lock that and you will be a regular sapling so you can go there with a lock regular old item duct here and there and then there's going to be one more thing that goes over here and that will be this thing over here so we're going to put this here for the time being so you should be disabled your shear leaves yes we're going to turn you on And all the leaves should land up here. Cool. I have a plan for leaves, in case you guys didn't figure that out. Uh, but for now, I want you off and you on, because I need more saplings to make sure that our stuff's growing very quickly and such. So that's cool. Um, may or may not want to throw some rubber trees in there at some point, but we'll see. For now, this is good. So I built a tree farm. You're welcome to go check it out. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, I came back okay. here for something. <laughs> Goes good, right? Nice. Yeah. They're slightly loud, but yes. Yeah, I'll get a sound muffle over there or something. Okay. Getting weeds? Weeds? Leaves. Okay, so first, uh, the leaves we are, I have plans for. That's dire plans oh, okay. right there. I'm just trying to figure out how to hear. Oh, shears, okay. I was like, I don't remember that drop from the harvester. Well, there's a setting for it. Did you know that? Hmm? There's a setting for it for the harvester? Oh, is there in the harvester? Oh, I didn't know there yeah. was. Oh! I thought it was a yeah. block. But it's okay. it's not something you can set without interacting with the GUI as far as I know. So I have two. One that's set to shear leaves that has a lever applied. At some point I will probably automate this so that once we have plenty of saplings, it'll um you know, go ahead and start yeah. shearing leaves and then just alternate okay. between the two in some automatic way with redstone and whatnot. But 
for now, it should work. Uh, to do a sound muffler. Oh! Yes. That is loud. You are correct. Yeah, that looks better. Way better. There's still a little bit of sound that leaks out, but that's pretty darn good. Yeah, I mean, any sound's fine, just not loud sounds. Yeah, no, I I dislike them as well, probably for the same reasons you do. Mm -hmm. If, it, if, like, the leaves are just outside the range of the farm, I think it grabs the sound, but anything yeah. inside is fine. All right, so uh, the last thing I want to do... I would like this to be... Probably here. So this is Y level 67. So in theory, if I get down here to level 67, and I'll fix all this mess in a minute. Oh, there we go. I was literally one block away. Ah, that is not the button I wanted to press. You can tell how unfamiliar I'm with being in like creative mode or anything, but I'm trying to make this workshop like really cool for people, but at the same time, you know, learning how to dire. So you're locked, you're fixed, everything's back to the way it should be with that. Okay, cool. And then I'll fix all this in a minute. But uh, what I wanted to do was get a piece of wood and set that in the config for the tree farm. So now, so Soren, I uh, added the the transport ducts, I added the tree farm to it. Ah, okay, cool. Cool? You can get to it quicker, yeah. Yeah, see, Dyer knows what he's doing. Mm-hmm, sure, mm-hmm. All right, guys. So with that, I think it's probably a good old wrapping up point for the episode time. Uh, we'll come back next time. I have plans for what I would like to do uh, with those leaves, obviously, and some other things. But at least for now, we have a nice tree farm so that anybody who needs like a decent supply of wood or something like that has, you know, immediate and easy access to it. That's at least the plan. And I think... That's a good addition to the workshop. I think any workshop should have a decent tree farm going so that people have easy access to some of those things that 
you know, typically might be a little bit hard to come by, like wood, but is easily automatable to the point where there's a ton of it. You dig? Yep. Cool. I like the idea. All right. So, for now, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, I think these transport ducks are awesome, and I will be continuing to use them throughout the workshop build because why not? I should add like an entrance point too. So like people who are walking into the entrance can get like right into it. That would be cool too. All right guys, take it easy.